crazy. <laughs> 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 Controller, man. We ended up damaging during tests. <laughs> I'm gonna tell the story. This is my trike. I'm modifying the electrical here because we learned something from this disaster. <laughs> and here we got the electric mini. <laughs> Three, two, one. Check out this mini, man. Electric mini. I might buy this car, man. Eh? Awesome! Woo. Electric Mini! I've got a solar panel on the roof and i got batteries here, man. Look at the batteries at the back, man. <laughs> and then you see, the reason why I got this Mini was because I want something small so I could fit my Tesla motor there and transform into a drag racing machine. <laughs> Imagine this with the big fat tires there, man, it's sticking out. That'll be awesome, and this is all electric already. So I was like, yeah, it'll be super easy, man. Drop the motor, fit this Tesla motor right here, change the batteries, put some more batteries at the back there, some batteries here at the front where the motor is at the moment. So yeah, everything makes sense. But and then I started to do some research here on the cost of the 400 volt battery and I was like oh man that's gonna be really expensive so just the battery management system for 400 volts it's about two three four thousand dollars just for the battery management system the cells alone so it'll be something like a six seven ten twenty twenty five thousand dollars yeah so something that can actually handle the tesla motor okay leaf batteries from nissan leaf they don't they, they can't you know they're just weak for this okay so yes and then i ended up getting uh the voltron motorcycle version one battery from 2013 i think this is a 700 volts configuration here okay 400 volts, 700 volts battery pack. So I need to reconfigure this thing into 350 volts. <laughs> There's a lot of work to do here. Look how many BMS wires to fix here. And these modules, they're actually good, but it's just a mess at the moment. This, this thing was left unattended and the battery management system was just draining the middle cells down to zero volt. And then end up losing uh, 14 series right in the middle here, okay, sir? Yeah, look, everything back in the days was soldered. So yeah, it's a lot of work, desoldering, shifting cells around. Nowadays, it's all like my trike here, okay? So my trike got bolted batteries. It's all done by Chris Jones, okay? So you see there's like bolts and nuts underneath here. I don't know if you can see, but yeah, it's like a sandwich Oh, the cell tabs here. And yeah, you're gonna lose so many series here. There's 42 series at the moment here. And we're probably gonna end up with a pack like this big and lose that much, okay? So it's a lot of work, but I've got tools here. I've got big soldering iron, I've got everything here. And putting everything back here, connect all the electricals, look at the contactors and the fuse and the pre-charge contactor. There's a lot of stuff going on here. Alrighty, so here, Oh, this Tesla motor controller here. Okay, all right. So what happened is, so we normally replace the logic board, okay? Uh, like we do with this and some other motors. And yeah, the logic board will sit here on top. We're testing this at super high RPM and we forgot that it was just a quick test. <laughs> we got too excited. We got the motor to spin at 16,000 RPM. And then the circuit breaker we put for protection dropped. So what happened is, so the motor was spinning super fast and turned into a generator. And the controller was completely turned off, didn't know what to do, completely dead. So the motor feeding that much power back in here. So it just ended up destroying, blowing the power section, which is right behind. It don't have access 
everything spotted in like a Tesla did a good job here to stopping people okay so it's nearly impossible to get inside this okay so i'll be doing another video when i figure out how to open this thing okay so he, he, in this motor is actually more visible so this is the power section here right here so yeah I, I need to have access to the rgbt's the most fats in the motor control okay so at the moment i only see something like that but i need to get right here which is behind that okay and then because we learned all this stuff i start changing my wiring you know in all my stuff i start putting uh like a permanent contactor there that never trips <laughs> unless i physically go there and dang all right so here we're gonna talk about the surround batteries man so this is what's been holding the power on the modified surround motorcycles because you know like i've done a lot of uh, like motor controller uh, upgrades uh, i actually have a video that i'm gonna upload here it's all it's all recorded already so using the nuclear controller which is made in russia there's some asi controllers but like it's always like the battery is actually limiting the potential okay so here i got two empty battery cases from adam surround australia okay so one is for his mate one is for himself and so yeah we actually squeezing this sony vtc6 cells inside there and yeah man this is the best 18650 cell you can get man 30 amps Ooh, delicious and super reliable awesome they run cool they're the best cells okay so then here we got some different uh bs bms options uh what so his mate actually runs uh like he wants endurance like a run for very 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 long time he wants more range he's very technical like a, a trials guy okay so he's happy to run a 16 series uh, with a small 320 amp uh, bms okay but most people 99 percent of the people they actually want they want a high voltage they want a high power so here we go we got a 20s 400 amp peak bms this is massive and really doesn't really fit on top of the battery like these smaller ones okay so most of the aftermarket uh, batteries that you find for uh, like suron and stuff they use inch bms and they use the 20s version 300 amp peak but you know like uh, i've been testing a lot of uh, like a uh, rod legal surrounds and the 300 amp peak they can only handle 100 amp continuous so if you go on like on the highway or something you hold that's it 100 amps pretty easy okay so i don't want to use this small one i want to go for the bigger uh, bms here so this one can actually handle 160 amp continuous look how many wires i got here four wires wire doesn't really indicate much but yeah it's just so you have an idea this has got six wires here okay it's just so you, you share you distribute the load uh between all mosfets and more surface like both sides of the pcb you see that yeah 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 all right so then at the moment we're using this uh cell holders here they're quite expensive this one there's very thin you can fit a lot more cells here uh, I've been using them for a long, long time. You go back in my videos and yeah, people went crazy when they saw this. Huh? But yeah, they're expensive, they're made in Europe and blah, blah, blah. To squeeze more cells inside this pack, we need to get custom cell holders, okay? But before I get a custom cell holders, I want to physically fix things there, play Lego here inside. So I might have to get custom cell holders for custom battery case, okay? But something that you know it's slightly bigger but doesn't hit uh the frame so you need, need to fit inside the bike okay so it's a bit of like a, a, a it's a process you need to work quite a lot here okay um yeah so let's see i've been fixing some e-bike stuff for some some people look yeah this is fried <laughs> all this uh, cheap and nasty e-bike battery case they did they, they just junk man they are junk the connector is junk and then he was like ah i had enough with this connector always melting always replacing so he's just like drilling a hole carefully here the drill bit got caught he he's a, a tig weld master very like technical guy he was very confident here but yeah bad day the drill bit ended up going too far Ooh, 
like got caught on a plastic and went doom and yeah he drew through a cell man pretty embarrassing telling me he's like oh man stupid but yeah i'm just spot welding here two cells for him he's just waiting for them to arrive pretty simple fix and balance all the cells here and connect back to the bms it should be all good man mm, yeah <laughs> All right, so this is a 12 volt lithium iron phosphate battery that is actually doing the 12 volt electrical in this car, all right? So at the moment, there is a lead acid battery doing all this. Every electric car has got a 12 volt battery, Tesla, every single car, okay? So they need by law to run the 12 volt circuitry, everything, you need a separate 12 volt battery, okay? So this one doesn't have the battery management system. So what happened is, so this car was sitting, for a few months and there's always a parasitic load running there and chewing a little bit a little bit every day and then eventually the battery is down to 0 0.5 volts and lithium batteries don't like going below 3 volts per cell these ones they can go like 2.6 volts per cell they're slightly lower voltage but yeah, now they're zero. <laughs> okay, so what I'm doing here, I'm actually gonna try to recover. So everything needs to be done in one go, okay? Not a little bit today, a little bit tomorrow. So I need to start in the morning and go gradually with a viable power supply. I need to use these tools here, something cheap like this, okay? Like $120, you buy something like that. And gradually increase, increase, increase the current and watch, see if there's any temperature, you know, like uh, increasing one of the cells. So I'm gonna be monitoring every single series here. And then eventually I'm gonna disconnect this and do the final balance. I'm probably gonna leave them auto balance, you know, like connect it all in parallel in the end, if everything looks all right. Okay, and or oh, might use my balancing charger here. But yeah, like this is gonna be a, a topic just for like, this is one video right here, okay? It's very important to show this. So there's like a one video right here, one video right here, many videos in this drive. One video showing this car here, how it performs on the road. And like maybe two, three videos showing this battery packs here and stuff. One video showing the LMX in action. We're installing this thing. There's, it's going to be like Ant BMS here on top as well. And I have so many videos recorded for Suron already. Modifying controller, the electrical, the Suron electrical, man. I've got, <laughs> I spent maybe like a weeks, weeks mapping every single wire on the Suron and making a proper document that people can benefit from there. <laughs> I think I covered everything, man. Give me a hand on Patreon, man. Two dollars, two dollars.